does Lumion 2023 live up to the hype? In this video, I am going over the biggest changes and updates to Lumion. We will dive into all the cool new things to see if Lumion 2023 is truly that much better than Lumion 12 and other rendering engines like Twinmotion and Enscape. The market for architecture, visualization, and rendering has become extremely competitive in the last couple of years. With Twinmotion's adoption of Unreal Engine and Enscape's collaboration with V-Ray, they have been stepping up their game and competing very heavily with Lumion. And so that has resulted in Lumion making big steps and changes in this new release with Lumion 2023. Some of the previous complaints and downfalls of Lumion have been massive file sizes for their applications, but also that it's been very expensive to get for commercial uses. But now Lumion has introduced ray tracing. Ray tracing is a rendering technique that softwares use to simulate the realistic lighting, reflections, and shadows. This is the difference between Lumion old rasterization techniques used in older versions of Lumion compared to ray tracing, the new technique in Lumion 2023. And you can clearly see the difference and how much better this truly is. Ray tracing adds realistic light, shadows, and reflections to your renderings at the touch of a button. The new ray tracing effect in Lumion lets you control the number of samples and bounces, giving you more control over the final result. With ray tracing switched on, your renderings will automatically show realistic indirect lighting, non-screen spacing reflections, contact shadows, and much more. The scope of the new ray tracing effect will continue to be expanded, and new additions will be easily made available thanks to the new software updaters. At the moment, the new glass material is not in the current version of ray trace, but that will be fixed in the upcoming updates. Lumion 2023 now includes a full PBR material workflow. This means higher quality of existing PBR materials with enabled ray tracing effects. The interaction between light and each surface results in an ultra realistic texture. You can also import your own textures or combine different maps to create the exact look you want. These are some of the examples that Lumion has provided of what you can visualize the new PBR textures looking like. In addition to PBR materials, Lumion has added a whole new collection of high quality materials. They've actually come out with 98 new materials that you can use to add realism to your building's surfaces and landscape designs. These include wood, stone, brick, plaster, metal, concrete, asphalt, soil, and grass, among others. Now you can still import your own materials and textures, but within Lumion software, they've really boosted the existing materials. On top of all these additions, Lumion 2023 has improved glass material that lets you fine tune every last detail of your project's windows and other glass surfaces. You can now add custom texture like relief or frostiness and adjust the distortion to your liking or whatever works for you. In addition to expanding the library of materials, Lumion has expanded the content library, the stuff and the objects that go into the buildings and the models. This will help your clients imagine themselves in your design with Lumion's extensive library of lifelike people. In the past, Lumion's people have been really hard to be portrayed as realistic. This has also been a problem with other softwares as well, but hopefully this new update will bring more realistic people so that the overall composition of the renders will be lifelike. You can set the scene and show the life in any project by instantly adding your choice of realistic objects and furniture. Whether it's a plant in the corner of the room, the cars passing by a building, or other wooden finishes of a chair. Plants and cars have also been another point of contention where the realistic qualities have not been as good as they could. If Lumion can drastically improve these objects, that'll be a huge step up against their competition. The new additions to the Lumion content library include fine detail nature, 3D static characters, cars, vehicles, and furniture items. Create animations faster and easier than ever with new camera pass that give you greater control and smoother camera movements. Just looking at this video, you can see how you can create very good pass for your architecture walkthroughs and other video types. You can use follow object to let the camera follow an animated object or character. You can use a dolly shot, which moves the camera in a straight line by setting start and end points. Or you can do an orbit path that creates a perfectly smooth camera path by simply setting the camera target, sphere radius, camera height, and start to end point. These are all very cool 
animation options. I'll definitely showcase them in the next video that I do about Lumion. These are some examples showcasing the difference between Lumion 2023 and the old version, Lumion 12.5. This is an example of what the ray tracing process looks like. You can mess with the bounce settings and also how realistic you want the lighting to be. But keep in mind, the higher the settings are, the longer it's gonna take to render. Let me know in the comments below if you think Lumion 2023 is living up to the hype or if it's at least better than Lumion 12.5. Also mention down below if you use any other software programs to render your models other than Lumion. If you appreciate the content in this video and want me to make another video walking through all the new features inside Lumion 2023, show your support by subscribing to this channel. To show all other videos on Lumion 2023, click up here.